So first things first, let's have a little look at this, this new word that's up on the screen here, QU. So that means we've got a combination of a few different things all at the same time. We've got the sound, so our tip of our tongue is behind our bottom teeth. We've got the U sound as well. So we've got our tight pursed lips at the corners here. And we've also got a fourth tone. So we're going to combine it all together and it becomes CHU. So let's combine some of the language that we've learned so far in this course. And let's try and ask a question. So I want to say, I'm going. You know a little bit about Chinese already. It's, it's very simple in terms of its grammar in a lot of ways. So if you want to say, I'm going, you would literally just say, I go. Or CHU. Now, if you want to say, I'm going to drink cola, I go drink cola. Go ahead. 我去喝可乐. So I want you to pronounce every single tone you see, give each tone their due. Don't try and shortcut, cut things in half. Okay. So even if you have to say it slower than me, something more like this. 我去喝可乐. At this stage, I want you to think about uh, these pronunciation practices is kind of like getting the technique right before you start going heavy in the gym, right? So you want to learn how to lift the weights properly first, and then you want to go and uh, increase the weight. Otherwise, you're going to hurt yourself. And how would you ask the question, are you going? Or literally, you go? Ma? Ni chu ma? Now try and say that all at once. 我去喝可乐. Ni chu ma? So if someone asks you, would you like to go and drink cola with me? You're probably going to say no, because it's kind of weird to ask someone to go and drink cola. How would you say no? Remembering what we learned before with yes and no in Chinese. You take the pertinent bit of information and you repeat it back. This time, you just add bu in front of it. So this would be 我不去. 我不去. Oh, of course, you could just say 不去 as well. But this is a really good one because I want to practice with you the U and the umlaut, little dot U as well. So the U and the U. 不去, 不去. Good. Okay, I've been turned down for drinking cola with one person, so I asked someone else. How would I say, and you? How about you? 你呢? Now, there's actually another way you can ask a very simple yes-no question in Chinese without using the ma question mark. All you have to do is take, again, the pertinent bit of information, the verb or the adjective, repeat it, but add a bu in the middle. If I want to say, are you going? I could say, ni chu ma. But I could also say, ni chu bu chu. Ni chu bu chu. And look what happens there. The bu or bu actually becomes a fifth tone because it's just too quick. It doesn't have time to put a tone in there. Ni chu bu chu. And how would you answer yes to this question? Chu. 